you know, no matter where you go in the country, you just end up meeting people who are doing incredible things in their communities. Uh, they're working hard. Obviously, we've had four tough years uh, with the economic crisis that we went through, but uh, watching the resilience of the American people and bouncing back uh, from hardship uh, has been remarkable. The, the other thing I know is, is that uh, one of the big unifiers in this country is sports uh, and football in particular. You don't go to any place where folks uh, don't talk about some football. Well, that's true. It keeps some of us employed. Four years ago when we spoke, Mr. President, you called for a college football playoff. Now, you got that done. Uh, it starts in two years with it, four schools involved, but did they go far enough? Promises made, promises kept. <laughs> you know, uh, th this was something I said needed to get done, and, and this is the kind of change you can believe in. Uh, but I'd like to see it actually go to eight. Uh, I'll be honest with you. Bigger question. Are your hometown Chicago Bears good enough to win the Super Bowl? Yes, they are. Best defense in the league right now. You know, you saw uh, yesterday's game, and you know, uh, Tillman may be uh, – Defensive player of the year, the way he's playing. Do you have a favorite football team? I mean, I know when you were governor of Massachusetts, the Patriots won two Super Bowls. You grew up in Michigan. The Lions are better. Do you have a favorite team? Well, it is the New England Patriots. Um, I, uh, I've lived in Massachusetts now 40 years, and I take personal full responsibility for their two Super Bowl <laughs> wins, as well as the Red Sox uh, <laughs> winning the World Series. Hey, look, as a governor, you get blamed for everything that goes wrong. You might as well get the credit for what goes right. If you could fix uh, or change one thing in sports, anything, what would that be? Well, it, it has to be the, uh, uh, the specter of, of, uh, of drugs and uh, performance enhancing drugs of all kinds. That, that's the, the biggest concern in sport. As you know, I was associated with the Olympics for uh, some time. Uh, that was always the issue that, that uh, clouded a, a potential uh, accomplishment. Uh, we have, uh, we've seen some of the uh, greats in the world uh, come down off their pedestal because of performance enhancing drugs. We have to continue to battle that. Uh, we have to make sure that our technology keeps up uh, with the people that are trying to skirt around the law. But ultimately, we get the bad guys who made the mistakes. and. Uh, that's going to have to change in this country. We're going to have to change the, the culture that says to people using performance-enhancing drugs is acceptable. It is simply not.